welcome to the Philips IntelliView Patient Monitoring Microlearnings. In this video, I will talk about monitor alarms and how you can adjust and review alarm settings. Let's get started. First, I want to familiarize you with the standard visual and audible alarm indicators of your IntelliView Patient Monitor. Your monitor has two different types of alarm, patient alarms and inups. Patient alarms are red and yellow alarms. A red alarm indicates a high priority patient alarm. Take for example an asystole, an apnea or a serious oxygen desaturation. A yellow alarm indicates a lower priority patient alarm. Take for example a pulse alarm limit violation. There are also short yellow alarms. Most of them are specific to arrhythmia-related patient conditions. Take for example an irregular heart rate or an atrial fibrillation. Inops are technical alarms. They indicate that the monitor cannot measure or detect alarm conditions reliably. Most inops are light blue, but there are a small number of inops which are always yellow or red because of their severity. Take for example, when all leads are off for an ECG, or an NBP cuff has overpressure or an occlusion, or there is an empty battery. An alarm message text appears on the alarm status area at the top of the screen indicating the source of the alarm. Your monitor can be set up to display a flashing numeric when the alarm comes from a measurement on the screen. It is also possible that your monitor displays the corresponding alarm limit on the monitor screen more brightly if the alarm is triggered by an alarm limit violation. The audible alarm indicators of your monitor are configurable and they depend on which alarm standard applies in your monitor. Here you hear the traditional alarms for the IntelliView patient monitor. You can adjust the alarm tone volume using the symbol at the top right of the screen or use the alarm volume smart key. Audible alarm patterns are repeated until you acknowledge the alarm or until the alarm condition ceases if the audible alarm indication is set to non-latching. Non-latching means that alarm indicators end when the alarm condition ends. When the alarm latching is set to on, it means that the visual and or audible alarm indicators are still displayed or announced by the monitor after the alarm condition ends. That is often the case for red alarms. To acknowledge all active alarms and inops, select the Acknowledge Permanent key. It switches off the audible alarm indicators and the alarm lamps. A check mark beside the alarm message indicates now that the alarm has been acknowledged. If the monitor is configured to re-alarm, you will see a dashed check mark. For as long as the alarm is still present, the alarm message stays on the screen. If an alarm reminder is configured on for your monitor, you will get an audible reminder for these alarm conditions that remain active after you have acknowledged the alarm. If the alarm condition is no longer present, then all alarm indicators stop and the alarm is reset. If you want to temporarily prevent alarms from sounding, for example, while you are moving a patient, you can pause alarms. Your monitor can be set up to pause alarms for one, two or three minutes or infinitely. If you don't see the pause alarms key on your screen, select and hold the acknowledge key and then select the desired time. It is also possible that your monitor doesn't allow a pause alarms. 
remember to always leave the alarm switched on when the patient is unattended. Instead of pausing all alarms, you can also switch off alarming for an individual measurement. Let me show you how you can switch off the alarms for the respiration measurement. First, I select the measurement numeric to enter the setup menu. Then, I select alarms to switch between on and off. Now, the alarms off symbol is shown beside the measurement numeric. For each individual measurement, you can set the conditions that trigger yellow and red alarm limits. Take for example SpO2. I set the lower alarm limit to 88% and the desaturation alarm limit to 80%. Take in mind that when powering up the monitor, discharging a patient from the monitor or switching to a different profile, you must always verify if the alarm limits and the patient category are appropriate for your patient and monitoring situation. Check if your monitor has an alarm limit smart key to display an overview window with the current alarm limits for each measurement. From this view, you can adjust any of the alarm settings too. When you touch the alarm status area, the alarm messages window opens, displaying the current alarms. It is possible that you find the review alarms pop-up key. The review alarms window contains a list of the most recent alarms and inups with date and time information. When you select an item from the list, you can get an additional information about that item. Well, I already gave you a lot to explore in your monitor about alarms, didn't I? And I could continue to help you learn more. For example, how to improve alarm management in your clinical unit using our Alarm Advisor solution. But that is for next time. Check out our other micro-learning videos too. Thank you for watching.